I'm ready to get going. We have actually uh, reviewed, I think everybody's reviewed the social standards document. I haven't heard any cries of protest or disgust, so we'll just barrel forward with that standing. Um, and the other thing to say, I have been thinking a lot about 4E for some time. Um, one of the things that can happen is that when we are not in an initiative sequence, it's awfully hard to tell when an intention is announced versus launching into action, right? So there's intention of an action and initiating an action. And in the unconstructed space, you know, out of a fight, that can be very confusing. So did you start to do it or did you say you want to do it or are you asking for confirmation of whether you can do it or any of that stuff? And it's all kind of flapping around. So I actually am going to bite the bullet and say that when we're not in a rest state, we're going to roll initiative. So, so when I say roll initiative, it's not the symbol of the beginning of a combat. It just means we have a, a sensible order for, for talking. And it also means that um, uh, you can say what you want to do, but if it's not your turn, then we know that your character hasn't initiated it. So you're not silenced, right? So that's kind of what I have in mind. That way we're not disoriented. It's a little draconian, mm -hmm. right? initiative for talking right or, or stuff like that or for just doing things but it it may help a little bit for this game um so i will do that in just a moment i shared a map map number one is available to all of you and it's got a little grid thing um i've got my physical copy here and tazio has got his digital copy with counters going as backup when and if we need to share a screen to help out Mm -hmm. um, anyone else okay. is welcome to watch it on the screen or print it out and move things on it, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm, I'm very much into committee, helpful committee work when it comes to map management is perfectly all right by me. Um, so uh, I am placing your characters, uh, the five of you, distributed from G, H, and I. And in four and five, so you can see that's a six square rectangle from G, H, and I, and four and five. Um, the empty square is G, four, so you guys are in those other five squares. I don't really care which of you is which. If you care, you can mm -hmm. claim one. Um, and the five of your characters um, will be, it, it's as if something had distracted you and you are recovering from distraction is the precise sensation. I will tell you one thing, which is that you quickly realize that you are not quite sure who you are. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is the, the start. Um, the please let me know about looking around. In fact, right, remember that initiative we were talking about? Some of you have, I believe the Githzeri have plus two in addition to their dexterity, um, in addition to their dexterity modifier. So everybody else, I believe, just has their dexterity modifier for initiative. So let's go ahead and roll and get an order because active perception and stuff like that will be important. Uh, let's get the order, and then I'll also give you your passive perception results right away. As in the, I look around and see what I can see. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me give you the, the all the passive perception results right off the bat so we don't have to, you know, suffer. Um, let's get some initiative results. My, mine is five. Five. Abzu. Mm-hmm. For uh, sixteen, six for uh for Guak. Uh, seven for Kuhari. Goodness, what a bunch of low rollers we have here. <laughs> and right saving now. the high rolls for later. Yeah, and and eight for Azeria. Eight or nine. Eight. Eight. Sorry. Okay. Um. Finally, Tazio. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. 
Let's do some passive uh, results right away. Um, so, okay. if, uh, passing. No, no. Right. Excuse me. I, I don't. I have all your numbers for those. I'm. Oh. I'm so I'm giving you passive results right now uh, for the opening. Um, so for Yahoo, who is first in the initiative order, you actually are have many different perceptions, probably more than anyone else, as well as at the moment being the fastest. So, the Mary Sue has been established. Um, and so we've got, uh, first of all, uh, you, the, the, the physical space itself, um, you will note that there is a dark passage toward the bottom right of the map. And given the movement of air and other things, you know that that passage actually opens up. That's not like a narrow quarter going off. That's there's a there's a big opening up behind that. That you know. Um, you also, if you look around, you can see that there's holes all over the place, and um, which everybody can see. But two of them are different from the others. They are definitely passages. You could go into those holes and keep going, and those are the ones um, at. Uh, JK two and three, the big one there, and at D five and six, that big one there. The others don't are probably they don't seem to be they don't go in very far. Those look different from okay. the others. So this is just what you're catching by maybe not even thinking about looking, but just what you get. Um, similarly, um. There is a uh, the, the the there's a sensation of psionic power that is fading fast. It's like just just in time to notice it. It's fading to nothing. Just imbuing something about this place or you, hmm. kind of powering down in psionics. Uh, finally, the sky is weird. We will talk more about that in a moment. Um. The next person would be, uh, next person is Azeria. Azeria, you are, you are sensing something completely different. Your character is a very different character in your abilities. And the physicality of it all, none of the, you would notice any of the things that Yuru is noticing if you tried, perhaps. But without trying, um, the intentionality of this place, you are here for a reason. You, there's there's somebody or something you're familiar with that wants this. And there's no yeah. other... That's your passive perception. You haven't, like, tried to think about it yet. Um, okay. And the same... Th and then uh, as we continue, um, we move to Kikari, um, who is uh, uh, just like Yerhu can sense the psionic effect being very intense and dropping and it is non-specific in other words it's not like a specific rock or something like that um and then uh finally that brings us to uh guax i think am i did i miss anybody say five six oh yes guax and then Ab abzu no problem so um the the business about the holes um is is actually a little different um the uh there are a couple of things first of all do you see those light thingies around on the map there's some kind of light sources of light that are quite distinctive on the map guox you know that that is a creature some sort of insectoid mothy kind of creature or maybe firefly ish and those holes um the, and I'm talking about the holes in general, not any specific ones. They are um, incubaria or storage. So they're, they're, they're the kind of thing creatures like this would dig um, or bore. Um, however, the ecology is wrong. There should be detritus around. If this is some kind of, you know, hive habitat, it's barren. There's no organic detritus surrounds. There's no usage or anything that they would eat or want if they were proper creatures. 
So this is this is not right. Um, let's see, uh, whom else am I missing? Ah, yes, good old Abzu. Abzu, you are also uh, aware of two things specifically. Uh, one is that up above is not a sky or a roof. There is the there is a vertical top effect that is definitely not normal, um, and associated with with or not not associated with that. Sorry, in the hole at D five and six, the the um, mm -hmm. yeah at, at that hole there is a flickering light inside. There is something moves and there is a light inside that hole. Okay. Okay. So um, everybody can see all the little lights around. The, the light in the area is dim light. In D&D uh, &D terms, that means that ranged attacks, ranged perceptions, active perceptions, are going to be penalized slightly. So um, the light is not great. The only place where you would have good light is actually at the critters. Um, so those are the passives. Um, and is there anything else that I need to let you know? Yes, I told you you are disoriented to some extent. Um, and please bear in mind that we have lots and lots and lots of skills that pertain to understanding things. So I'm just giving you your launch point. Um, and you are all gazing about, I presume. Let us begin with Yerhu, top of the initiative. Okay, first I have a question. Uh, it's a bit tedious, I realize, but do we know each other? That Why is we exactly the kind of question that I am talking about. Therefore, for this purpose, you, first of all, when you look about, you remember one of the other characters' names. You recognize um, the, that shard mind. In fact, Declan, could you give us one? I know you've got more. Everybody's got more, but give us one visual distinguishing feature about Declan as its shard well, mind. Well, Kikari is uh, uh, lilac is probably the best description, a sort of haze of sort of purples and blues and uh, light blues, but sort of in that sort of color spectrum. Uh, and they all look particularly sharp. Aha, excellent. So there's that spiky looking lilac e shard mind, and that character's name is Kikari. You know Kikari. And That's he, it. And I... The others seem kind of vague to you. You're like... Well, I look around myself. Mm -hmm. I uh, recognize being in the presence of someone I know and other people, strange people that I do not know, one of which is similar to me. And... Uh, but, but I have a moment of anxiety and I... Uh, speak out and say, are you people feeling this? Referring to the fading psionic phrase. Ah. What is this place? Excellent. Now you may make an insight check. With pleasure. My insight is horrible. But I will try nonetheless. And yes, I score a glorious seven. Oh, uh -huh. right. So the puzzlement in your voice when you ask that question is very genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, let's, you're, you've got, you know, full actions, minor this and that. Let's chill for a bit. I do want to point out, then maybe this wouldn't have helped with that role, but let's bear in mind, we do have both a mantle of clarity and a mantle of elation affecting everyone which mm -hmm. means bonuses i think it's just a plus one but that's not a bad thing someone check me on that insight which is important and perception as well as 
uh, diplomacy and intimidate. But insight is good. Now, the bonus to perception actually offset the dim light for the passive perception that we were talking about. So that's good. Um, okay. To some extent. So um, in that case, that's where we're at. If uh, we'll hold off on it and on, on uh, Yerhu, unless there's something really dramatic you want to do. Um, Azeria is up yeah. next. Okay. Azeria is going to reply. No, I don't know what you're talking about, but I know that we're supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Someone has brought us here. We're not here by accident. We are here at someone's wish. I don't know why, though. You recognize that Minotaur. That Minotaur's name is Guox. Ah, is Guox the Minotaur? Why would he want us here? So I'm going no, to try sorry, and work that's, to see I'm, if I can... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I've miscommunicated. Oh, sorry, one, of the no. people, one of the people there is Guox. Right. Cool. Right. Who's playing Guox? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm glad to see you are here too Awesome Now that means that Guox as a reaction Is going to make his insight check um, And uh, Okay let me get this right Debbie please make a will uh, an, A will check Because you're using Kind of the force of your will Got an 11 Hold on a sec Oh, Debbie, did you get a 10 or higher? I got I got 13. No problem. So that's a plus two. And then you've got the plus one for the mantle. So this this gets Zeri Ardent, who's talking to Guox, you know, it's like this whole flood of aid, right? As you struggle to react to your name. You you are Guox. Imagine that. Duh! <laughs> I knew that, right? <laughs> okay. It's not a great result. So you're not all there, but but you're better off. Okay. Um, Debbie, currently your uh, Azaria is still struggling with her own name. It's like, <laughs> you're Guox, you're Guox. I'm like, oh my God, I am, right? Um, <laughs> so, so uh -huh, go ahead. Uh -huh. Can I try, I don't know, try and work out who I am? Can I try and reach back into the... Right. For you, to, that's going to be that straight-up yeah. insight check. Nobody yeah. said your name yet, so you won't get a bonus for it. But you do get your own mantle. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's 21, including the mantle. There you go. All right. Now, bam. You got your name, and you got all your skills, too. Right, you're like oh, the, the the sort of the it's kind of like it's kind of like the Terminator, right? The little menu comes up in your mind and right checks off all the skills, right? You're, basically, your character sheet is now available to your character. So um, excellent, right? So uh, you're you're busy, uh, and I just to clarify, I don't believe here who said Kikari's name. So that's why that's why Declan has not had mm. the chance for these roles yet. Um, so no, that's fine. No, no, I know. We're just, I'm just going with what people say and do. So that does, however, bring us to Kikari, who can observe, obviously, what these people are doing. Somebody has helped somebody remember, then that person remembers. Or Kikari could spend time looking around and doing stuff about the environment, as you please. No, Kikari is far more fascinated by these people than, than the environment, but I think I'll step to the side and watch the group. Uh -huh. uh, just see who seems to become the natural leader and try and understand the dynamics here. But I'm not saying anything yet. Excellent. Well, that is an insight role, an insight check. And you do okay. recognize somebody, too. You recognize the other shard mind. Um, I got a 14 on the insight. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. That means you do get your own name because that makes a 15 Oops. with the mantle. And so um, you get your own name and you also recover your trained skills. Ooh, right. So your trained skills will come to you. Um, you are um, so that's that's first of all you kind of get your mind together, right? And that's without too much trouble. Um, and then, as far as the action that you mentioned, that is a straight up insight check, looking at social dynamics and stuff like that. 
Um, six, uh, nine. Not okay. brilliant. Right. So your your people are weird, but the uh, <laughs> yeah. But you do recognize. Oh well, wait. There is a plus one. There is a plus one because of the mantle. There is. It's oh. a ten. So you're recognizing that you don't see any automatic hostilities. Nobody is leaping back from someone else like my blood feud enemy, you know, or any crap like <laughs> that. So the the and the and there is genuine recognition happening here. A couple of people are actually recognizing each other, <laughs> and um, so that that the the interaction and recovery of identity is occurring that you can see and understand uh, the details no hierarchy no 10 is 10 um you do the name of the other shard mind is abzu backing abzu. up yeah oh. backing up for a second sorry about this declan uh debbie can you give us one visual about uh Iseria? Yeah, um, she has long russet hair uh -huh. that is with strands of black in it, and it's worn in long braids that are then woven into a bun at the base of a neck. Excellent. How about a one visual for Guox? Um, just like a minotaur horns are super wavy, regular waves until they end. Excellent. Okay. And so then we have um, the back to Declan. Um, you recognize you you see Abzu, and Lorenzo. Can you give us one visual thing about Abzu? Well, aside from the fact that he's reddish um, uh, uh, instead of you know teal, uh, the most striking feature is that uh, it seems like it's having some trouble holding the right arm together. Like uh, the shards, the crystals they are constantly moving right. and. Uh, Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And it's um, bigger than the left one. Gotcha. Yes. Um, and so um, that leads us, Declan, back to you. Uh, do you want to talk to anyone? Oh, you and you guys both speak. Both the shard minds speak in uh, telepathy. Telepathy. Right. No, I'm still observing. It may not be the most helpful of things at the moment, but I, I think. Naturally, I would observe. Okay, hold on just a moment, uh, Tazio. I'm working my way down the order. Um, and so finally, that brings us to, well, not finally, but Guox. You remember your name. You're not real good on your skills right now, but you remember, but you've, you've got this interaction going on. You recognize uh, the, the other Gitzeri, the one who hasn't been talking to you. Um, the, uh, the one who's been kind of looking around. Um, that is Yerhu. Um, and Tazio, did you um, want to say something? Oh, uh, just that when Kikari backs uh, out of the group and looks at us, I would like to ask him, is something wrong, Kikari? Ah, Realizing that go. I know his name. Yes. As a reaction, if it makes any sense. Right, right. Um, it can't, actually, it's a good, it is a good one. So hold on just a minute, Hans. Um, it so is that's enough for me to remember yeah, his name from that. Uh, well, let's let's hold on just a second. First of all, from uh, Yerhu talking to you, it's about whether you can remember your own name. Uh, I really remem remember my own name. Uh, oh, I've got okay. that already. Right, okay. Yeah. In that case. Uh, um, and my skill sets, but this strange person is talking to me. Yeah. Right. Um, well, that's going to have to be uh, an insight check as well. I'm sorry to be so picky about that, but it will. Um, uh, a natural one. Ah, well. Um, okay. Plus three is still going to be very Well, good. the natural one is a, is a failure. So, so you're, yeah, you're, you're working on these details. Hans, back to you. Sorry about the jumping around. Um, um, yeah, I think I'm kind of trying to get a sense of who I am, so I'm physically feeling myself. Right. Body. Um, and can uh, I reach out to touch Pierhu, like ask Pierre by the arm or shoulder and say, uh, you're Pierhu. Aha. Uh -huh. Insight check. Uh, we'll check for you, uh, for, for Guox, and we'll see if that'll give a bonus to the, uh, the insight check for Yerhu.
All right, what was the check I'm doing? Uh, you're, it's a will check, so you add your will bonus to your... Oh, got it, got it. Um, uh, 17. Excellent. So that's plus two, and then with the mantle, that's plus one, so plus three to your who's inside check. Well, it's a 21 this time. Fantastic. All right. Well, in that case, all your your skills are back with you. You are settled in your mind. It's clear to you. You don't. You're still kind of working out the mem the, the names of everyone else, but they will come quite soon. Uh, same thing with uh, same thing with um, Azaria. The you, once you start this process, it will continue. So um, so yes, your your mind is becoming your own in full. Um, because of this nice minotaur who has said your name, and that was what you needed, right? So, um, well, I place my hand on his hand and say, Yes, I am. Ah, excellent. So, um, just now that we've had touching, what I'm going to say is the physicality of your bodies is also all of you look like you are ready for action, you've got your preferred gear, um, not, okay, in the real game, maybe you spend 800 gold pieces on 800 pieces of equipment, but here you just have what I have, what I've listed, right? So you don't have rations and lanterns and stuff like that, but you do have weapons that you feel like you identify with. These are yours, right? Your 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 sense of identity is is in those, so you have them. Um, so, uh, and as well as the clothing and, and gear that you feel comfortable in. Um, so that brings us to Abzu, I believe. What is the, uh, what, okay. with all the different things coming in, I haven't counted on my fingers, but I think that the person you recognize is Isaria, if I'm remembering if I'm crisscrossing I, everybody properly. So that means that, uh, but she I is already, so, right? yeah, but, uh, but you have seen, you've heard her name spoken. No, wait, you haven't. Have you, she's remembered by herself though, but you can talk if you yeah, want to. Yeah. I will say that uh, given that uh, I'm an ardent, uh, and so I'm really good at reading emotion because I use them. Right. Uh, I'm trying to feel how everybody, because I don't, I, I, I'm trying to check if nobody is being exceedingly scared or aggressive toward any, anyone else, because it feels like we, sh we all know each other. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm coming last into the process, I mean, being able to see everybody else. Correct. It feels like we are a group. In, so I'm trying to read the emotions of, of everybody and see if there is... A, and I want to try to. I don't have emotions myself as a shark mind. Uh, That's and, what you think. Uh, so okay. I'm going to. Well, yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm going to to say uh, at this point, since I, I know her, but I haven't heard her name, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask her. You said we are here with purpose, and what did you mean by that? And I'm asking it by right. telepathy. Right. I'm not going to speak out. So, I'm, I just know that we are here. I'm Azaria, by the way. Mm -hmm. just, sorry, I just I know just know that we are here for a purpose. I felt that when I came to. I still don't know why though, or whose purpose. Mm -hmm. But it's not by accident. 